So obviously any good setup starts with a desk, and for that we're using a cheap IKEA desk. I believe this is a 39 inch long by 24 inch wide desk from IKEA. I believe the brand is Linmon. Does have some shipping damage here, but for the price you honestly can't get much better than this. But yeah, it's just a white desk. There's nothing too special about it. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the monitor. All right, so here's the monitor that we're gonna be using for today's build. This is a 24 inch curved AOC monitor, as you can see here. 1080p, 144 hertz refresh rate with a one millisecond response time. Honestly, for today's build with the PC that we're using, 144 hertz refresh rate is really all we're gonna need for a monitor. There's no use for going up to a 240. I chose this because it's so cheap. Uh, honestly, I was having a hard time finding anything better than this for the price. It is height adjustable. All you have to do is just push the monitor up or down. That way you can choose the height. It does have pretty long travel in the vertical position. That way you can set it to whatever height you want. But yeah, as you can see with the monitor back in its position where it's supposed to be, you can see it doesn't take up too much space on the desk. It doesn't look out of place. But anyways, with that being said, we're gonna throw some LED strips on the back of this monitor. That way it'll have a really cool effect off the wall when the lights are off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you guys the process here in just a second. All right, so now we're gonna install those LED strips I was talking about. So for that, we're gonna use these right here. These are Pengton Villa, just standard USB powered LED strips. I've used these before in my videos and I really like them. For the price, you honestly cannot beat these, in my opinion. So here's a more close-up shot of the strip itself. So if you do need to cut these down to length, like we will here shortly, you wanna make sure you cut on these little black lines where the copper strips are. To install these, it's pretty simple. You can see there is an adhesive sticker on the back of this thing. Basically, all we're gonna do is take off the adhesive and stick it onto the back of the monitor kind of like that, just wanna trace the outline of it. Let me go ahead and throw this on there real quick and I'll show you guys more of what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm saving you guys the trouble of watching me struggle through this and this is kind of the final product. I know it doesn't look very good on the back of the monitor, but that's okay because you're never gonna see this anyways. So you can see we've got the adhesive holding the strip on to the monitor, but you can see we're also using some clear packing tape to help secure it in place because this adhesive backing on these LED strips has a tendency to lose its grip over time, so this will help to keep it in place. You wanna make sure you use clear packing tape when you're doing this so you don't block out the LEDs. So yeah, with that being said, that's just about all we have to do for that. Now we'll take our power cord, plug it in here, and we'll plug the other end into either the PC or the wall, and then it'll look super cool in the back. So we'll do that in a few minutes here, but first we're gonna go over the keyboard and mouse, which we're going to do now. As for the keyboard and mouse, we're using this Havit keyboard and mouse combo kit that I got on Amazon for about 40 bucks. So for the keyboard, I believe this is a mechanical keyboard. It has been a while since I ordered it. Just taking a look at it here quickly. I'm sorry, the lighting is pretty terrible against the black of the keyboard. Uh, first impression, this actually reminds me a lot of the Red Dragon keyboard that I used in a previous build. There you go, now you know what it sounds like. It is mechanical. RGB lighting under the keycaps, of course, you can't go without that in one of these builds. Wired, of course. For the price, there's really no way you could get a good keyboard that's wireless, but that's not a problem at all. All right, taking this thing out of its packaging. Once again, it feels really similar to the Red Dragon mouse that I used in a previous build as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they're made by the same manufacturer, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But this is an RGB mouse as well, so it will match the keyboard and the LED strips behind the monitor, so it'll look really cool. Corded again, of course. Both of these have uh, braided cords. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I guess the braided cord is supposed to help it last a bit longer, and it'll be a little bit less susceptible to breaking from bending it too hard, I guess. I don't really know. But all I know is that this was a cheap combo kit to match the budget of this build. So I bought it. it seems to be pretty decent. All right, so now I gotta take these two things right here, the mouse and the keyboard, 
and figure out how I want to route these cables. I haven't really thought of this until now. I'm either going to drill a hole in the desk right here or I'll just route them back behind the monitor here. I just don't know how that's going to work out with this stand. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'll have to pick out which one I want to do, how I want to make this look. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the final product here in just a second. All right, so here you go. You can kind of see what we went with here for the keyboard and mouse wiring setup. I ended up drilling a hole in the desk, as you can see, and just routing the cables underneath the desk here. That way it'll look more clean once it's all said and done. You won't have cables running back behind the monitor, which won't look very good. So yeah, once this is all said and done, that'll look really nice, but we still have a lot more stuff to go through. So let's go ahead and go over the headset and the headphone stand next. We're using these MPOW EG3 Pros for our headset for this build. This is a relatively cheap gaming headset that I found on Amazon. It does have the two connectors here, one for the microphone, one for the actual headphone portion of it itself. Very comfortable leather earmuffs with an adjustable microphone, obviously. That way you have the ability to listen and talk to people while you're playing your games on your new setup here. Of course, we don't want those just sitting around on the desk, so we also bought a headphone stand as well for today's build. Let's see, we've got three pieces here. We'll just throw this together really quickly. All right, here you go. You can kind of see what this looks like on the desk here now. Again, the lighting is pretty terrible in here. I'm sorry about that. But you can see we've got this nice metal headphone stand here on the desk. It's nice and stable. It's not going to move around too much on you with our EG3 headset right there. So it's all starting to look pretty good up top, but obviously this is a complete build today. So now we need to go and show you guys the $500 gaming PC. So here's the PC I was talking about. Some of you guys might recognize this. I made a video of me building this PC about two weeks ago. So if you guys haven't seen that, feel free to check that out if you guys wanna know how to build this. I'm not gonna bother going over the specs of this computer simply because I already made an entire video based off of this. So I'm not going to waste my time, but basically it's a $500 gaming PC build that I built myself and it has RGB lights built into the case. You guys will see that in a second once I get this thing all fired up, once all this wiring is taken care of. You can see it's kind of a mess back there right now, but we'll get there in just a second. So I'm going to take this thing, throw it over there onto the side. There's nothing too special to look at inside of this thing, so I'm not going to bother putting it up on top of the desk. Just gonna leave it down there on the side like I normally do. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there, get the wiring all hooked up to it, fire up the monitor, change all the settings around in this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing all set up. I will reconvene with you guys once that is all completed so I can show you guys the final product of today's build. All right, so here you guys go. This is the final product of today's $750 complete gaming setup build you can see we got the pc down there doing its thing with the led rgb stuff we got the monitor up and running here with my logo on it led strips are reflecting off the wall we got keyboard as well as the mouse hooked up as well uh, i kind of wish the keyboard was a little bit brighter with its rgb it's pretty dull you guys probably can't even see it too well on the keyboard when i'm this far away but uh, it is on and it is lit up. I'll go ahead and shut the lights off here in a second behind me and you guys can see what this looks like in the dark. It looks way better when the lights are off. So let me go ahead and shut off my studio lights real quick and you guys can see what this looks like. So this is what the setup looks like with just the upper light, the ceiling light in my room on looks like. You can see it's way better with the lights off. I'll go ahead and shut this upper light off as well in a second so you guys can see it in the complete darkness there we go now all the lights are off you guys can see how amazing this thing actually looks with the lights off the pc down there doing its thing looking awesome got the keyboard you can kind of see the keyboard's rgb effect now it's way brighter when the lights are off you can actually see it and that looks really good same thing with the mouse right here I probably should turn the brightness down on the monitor because it's a little bit high, but yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, but for now, you guys can kind of see just how bright these strips are behind it. 
For some reason, my camera makes it look like it's super bright. In reality, it's not that blinding like it is on camera. So just take that with a grain of salt. It looks really good in person. This looks absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Obviously with the lights behind the monitor, we have our controller here. So if we wanted to change it, we could do that. We could just play around with all the different colors and stuff as well. But I'm gonna leave it on smooth for right now to give it that cool wave effect that matches everything else in the setup. You can change the keyboard and mouse lighting as well. To do that, you just hit the function key as well as these keys right here. To change, to change the lighting on the keyboard, you would hit the FN key, which is function, as well as these keys right here, these six. So for instance, I could change it to this, which makes it a solid. I could do this, which makes it responsive to you typing. And then there's just a whole bunch of other options. I like leaving it on the wave pattern. It's my personal favorite. If we zoom out here, we can kind of get the whole thing in the shot. You guys can just see how cool this actually looks. Again, the camera doesn't really do it that much justice with the... Again, the way the camera picks up LED light is kind of funky, so it doesn't look that great on camera, but I promise you guys, in person, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Honestly, for 750 bucks, I don't think you can really beat this awesome setup. It looks super clean. But of course we have our but of course we all have our own preferences. So if you guys But of course we all have our own preferences and everything. But of course we all have our own preferences. So there you guys go, that is today's $750 budget gaming setup, complete with the gaming PC, of course. If you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next build.